You are about to embark on the exciting journey that is scientific experimentation. However, there are some concepts you need to learn before you move straight into scientific experiments. At the center of scientific experimentation and science altogether is curiosity and investigation. Also, in scientific experiments, there are certain guidelines we have to follow. Science is about investigating questions about things that are hard to explain in the natural world. The first step in the scientific method is to state the problem as a question. We come up with these questions as a result of observation using our five senses. These guesses we make can explain our observations. When observations are made with little information, opinions and guesses may be different depending on the past knowledge the observer has. After the first observation has been made, scientists do research to gather more information on their observations. They do this by reading, asking for advice, and making further observations. After research happens, they make hypotheses using their first conclusions and the research they came up with. A hypothesis is a prediction as to what the outcome of an experiment will be, or why a certain outcome occurred. After an observation has been made, research has been done, and a hypothesis has been formed, it's time for experimentation. Experiments should always be done using multiple trials so the results are closer to being right. They should also be easily replicable, meaning someone else can do the experiment and get the same results or close to the same results. After experimentation, scientists study the data. They then figure out what the results mean and organize the data using charts and graphs to form final conclusions. From the conclusion, a new hypothesis is formed and the results can be published in an overall summary and analysis of the entire experiment. These are all the steps that take place in any experiment. Even the great scientists like Sir Isaac Newton, Albert Einstein, and Galileo followed these steps during their experiments. While those scientists were really smart on their own, working with a partner or group can sometimes be more organized and helpful. Working in groups improves problem solving simply because students can share ideas and brainstorm with each other. Thanks for watching. We hope this video has helped give you a better understanding of the scientific method and the steps behind the scientific experiments. Before you begin any experiment, think about these steps.